Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and this is Buddha Macy and Oz. Pack your bags, I got a one way ticket to explore the world tonight. I want you back, so come with me. Don't look back, I want to show you the wonders of the universe, girl. Take my hand and you will see. We've got just one life, baby. So live it up, take it one day at a time. Keep it shining. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at reviewing my July Bella box. I know it's a little bit late, but things have been slightly crazy at home at the moment with new things that's happening and I'm hopefully going to share with you guys very soon. But with all that said, I'm here now to do this review and I'm actually super excited and I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. So I have to be very honest with you, the ballot box for me just gets better every month. There hasn't been one that I got where I went, no, oh, I don't really like what this one has. It's just really amazing products that they give you month in, month out and I absolutely love it. July box, no exception. It was amazing. So let me go from the beginning. I'll do them product by product like I always do. And then, yes, let's have a look. So first up, I want to talk about the Bean Body Clay Mask, the Charcoal Clay Mask. I have to be very honest, my hands smelled like coffee for about, I think, um, two days still. <laughs> but it was amazing. My skin felt amazing afterwards. It's so so soft and it really really exfoliates perfectly from top to bottom and it's definitely one of those masks that i will be using again over and over i absolutely loved using it and it just it didn't make me itch it didn't make me break out nothing like that it was just a really really nice mask that i got to use so definitely the bean body i think like the whole series i'm starting to really like and appreciate so bean body coffee clay mask Definitely something I would say have a look at it if it is something you would want to try go for it I absolutely loved it then moving on to the CeraVe moisturizer um, To be very honest. It wasn't my favorite the other moisturizer I've been using has Kind of become something that I'm used to so the texture of that is Nicer for me than this one was it's a little bit more I almost want to say more dense like it, it feels like you're putting something on your skin it's not just there and gone it, it's actually something that you're physically putting on so it was a little bit harder for me to accept it if I can say it like that because I like I said in the beginning I'm not a big fan of things like that where it feels like it's stuck in your face so it's a great moisturizer I can say afterwards my skin did feel very moisturized it's just the actual thickness and the feeling of the moisturizer is not what I like but still a, a brilliant, brilliant moisturizer, just not for me. Then moving on, it was the L'Oreal Paris Brow Plump and Set. Um, I'm very excited whenever I get anything for my brows, because like I said in the beginning, I really have never done anything for it. I think maybe once I took a pencil and colored it in a little bit to give it a bit more shape, but that's about as far as it goes. So when I first got the brow gel in the very first box, it was like, wait, what? What's this? Um, I did a little bit of research and I actually really did like it. Um, it's not something I'll wear on a daily basis, but it's definitely something that I'm going to keep in my makeup bag to use whenever it's a little bit more of a formal or a going out type of night. So when I got the plump and set, I actually got very excited because it's, it's another type of thing that I'd know nothing about. And what I have to say about it is it does exactly what it says. It kind of fills it up and it sets it, but it doesn't add any color or anything. So it looks so natural that I, I loved it. It was something that I kind of went, wait, wait, what? What's this? I like this. So definitely something that took me by surprise. Um, not something that I ever would have gone out and bought for myself. So getting it in the box is kind of exactly what this box is about. Testing out these products and seeing what you want and what you don't. But I have to say, I think that one was the surprise for me in this box because it's something that I never would have thought I'd like and I absolutely loved it. It really, really just sets so nicely. But like I said, 
because it doesn't add any color it's so natural so i loved it definitely something i would recommend then i've been using the bird's bees uh, conditioning lip balm every single day before after classes before after showers everywhere you can think of i've been using it because it is so amazing it really just makes you feel i don't know like rejuvenated almost it is such a nice feeling on your lips it kind of reminds me of um, zambak that we have back home so it has kind of the same feeling when you put it on and maybe that's why i like it so much but it definitely works and i like that it's 100 percent natural so i think maybe in my future there will be more of this lip balm just because it is it's nice to use and it's like i said it's 100 percent natural so it's really good for you as well so i absolutely love that one then my opt-in product that I was very excited for. So I got the St. Luke's Lavish Eyeliner and Lip Liner. The eyeliner, as you'll see in the video, did not go well. <laughs> I've never applied eyeliner. So the first time I did it and I, I took the video, it looks horrendous. It is so bad. So I tried again afterwards. It didn't come out any better. So definitely something that I have to practice and something that I'm going to have to work out just exactly how to use it because obviously I don't know but I have to say it's quite nice and soft so it does make a beautiful line on your eye if you can get it right I love the black it really makes my eyes pop so that was really cool to see but out of the two the lip liner was my favorite it just because my lips aren't like I don't know I've quite quite got quite a small face um so I don't generally want to do too much because it doesn't work that well but just the lining, it just made it so nice and smooth and beautiful. I absolutely loved using that lip liner. Um, you'll see as well that I used one of my own lipsticks to go over it, which wasn't an exact match, but it didn't matter because the lip liner I just like melted into it so well. It just worked wonderfully. So absolutely, absolutely one of my favorites that I got for this box. Um, and also something that I'll keep in my bag that I'll keep using on a regular basis. So there you have it. That's the actual July Bella box. There wasn't one product in here that I went never. The CeraVe moisturizer wasn't my favorite, but it's still something I will use. But other than that, every single item that I got in my July Bella box is something that I'm going to use again. And it's definitely something that I can recommend to all of you. If it is something you're looking into, go for it. You won't be sorry. You're going to love it just like I did. Well, there you go. That's my July review. Nice, short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed that. The next box is on its way and there's a few other surprises that I'm hopefully going to be sharing with you very soon. But until then, if you've liked my video, please consider clicking the like button. And if you want to see what the other surprises are that I've got up my sleeve, consider subscribing and turn on your notifications so you don't miss another video. I hope to see you soon. Bye!